Hello, this is Harry Hawk, and this is a little tutorial about how to practice your regular expressions. Regular expressions, if you don't know, is a more sophisticated way of doing search and replace. We all know how to simply do a search, like for the word demo here, find it and replace it with something else. In many programmatic environments, when writing code, JavaScript, or when using tools like Google Analytics, we need to be able to use regular expressions because we want to match this or that, but not everything. And we also need a way to test it to sort of make sure it's working. And you could, of course, uh, create a program that would do this. But if you're not a coder and you're looking for a way to test for example, uh, the ability to find certain URLs within Google Analytics for a filter or a goal. Here's a great way of testing it. Now, what I've done is I've loaded the sitemap for product categories into a Google Doc. And I can bring up the search. My apologies. I don't understand. Oh, that was uh, my friend Google Home there. but. I wasn't talking to it. I was talking to you. Well, here we go. I'm trying to search and replace nothing. This is just a way to test regular expressions. And to do that, we need to click match regular expressions. And now I can start to match uh, certain things in here. For example, I can match the word hair or the product or a Plex. But in this case, I want to match color, which I've done. And I want to match sundries. Now I'm dyslexic, so it's very hard for me to remember all of the regular expression codes and really make sure that I've got it right. I could put it into a filter and even validate the filter, but it's not really sh clear to me that it's 100% working. And I'm always going back to uh, the regular expression guides and so forth. So this is a way for me to take my data set. Again, I've loaded in a particular site map and I'm trying to create a filter and I can actually test uh, against um, this data set with a regular expression before testing it in Google Analytics. I'm going to add uh, one more uh, item here. And again, this is not a tutorial on regular expressions. If you're looking to learn regular expressions, I highly recommend regx1.com. That's R-E-G-E-X-O-N-E. Dot com is a whole tutorial where you can do live examples much like this. But again, this hack is about how to use Google Docs to actually test against your data set. Now, I said that I wanted to include one other category in here. Now, I am using this uh, the pipe command there, which is an or. Right now, it's or everything. That's why it all selected. But now I'm going to type the word nail in. And now we can test. I should have all sundries, all color. So here's sundries, product sundries, and here's uh, professional product sundries. I have all sundries. I have all color. And as we'll see, uh, I have also um, any mention of nail. Uh, so pedicure and nail color and so forth, all nail items. Uh, and there's all kinds of regular expressions that you could use if you wanted to include pedicure, but not one of these other ones. But again, this is not a regular expression tutorial. This is just a great way to show you how to test a regular expression while you're learning them against your actual data set. And if you copied and pasted that string into Google Analytics, it should work. Anyway, this is Harry Hawk, and I, I hope you've enjoyed this little hack as to how to test regular expressions against your data set without creating a program or going into a development environment. Have a great week.
Bye-bye.